Hello, we're going to make a Christmas tree. Inflate light green balloon, leaving four inch flat tail uh, to make the trunk. Twist the first soft one inch bubble. Twist the second soft one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the first two bubbles in one lock twist. Lock both ends of the first bubble in one lock twist. At the same time, you lock the both ends of the second bubble in one lock twist. We made the top of the tree. Twist the third 2 inch bubble. Inflate dark green balloon leaving 4 inch tail. We actually will use 4 dark green balloons to make the branches of the tree. Lock the nozzle of the dark green balloon around the free end of the third bubble of the uh, light green balloon, the trunk. Twist the first 4 inch bubble of the dark green balloon. Twist the second soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the second bubble in one lock twist. Twist the third 3 inch bubble of the dark green balloon. Twist the fourth 3 inch bubble of the light green balloon. Lock the free end of the fourth light bubble with the free end of the third dark bubble. Twist the fourth uh, 5 inch bubble of the dark green balloon. Twist the fifth soft uh, 1 inch bubble of the dark green balloon. Lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. Twist the sixth 4 inch bubble of the dark green balloon. Twist the fifth. 3 inch bubble of the light green balloon. Lock the free end of the fifth light green bubble with the free end of the sixth dark green bubble. Twist the seventh 6 inch bubble of the dark green balloon. Twist the eighth soft 1 inch bubble of the dark green balloon. Lock both ends of the eighth bubble in one lock twist. Twist the ninth 5 inch bubble of the dark green balloon. Twist the sixth 4 inch bubble of the light green balloon. Lock the free end of the ninth dark green bubble with uh, the free end of the sixth uh, light green bubble. The rest of the dark green balloon is the tenth bubble. We don't need it. Now we are going to use uh, another dark green balloon. We are going to do exactly the same thing as we did with the first uh, dark green balloon. Absolutely the same size bubbles uh, attached at the same spot. With the first bubble Twist the second soft one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the second bubble in one lock twist. Measure the size of the third bubble and twist it. Lock the free end of the third dark green bubble between the fourth and fifth bubbles of the light green balloon. Measure the size of the fourth uh, dark green bubble and twist it. 
So this is the fifth soft one inch bubble. Lock both hands of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. Measure the size of the sixth bubble and twist it. Lock the free end of the sixth uh, dark green bubble between the fifth and sixth bubbles of the light green balloon. Measure the size of the seventh bubble and twist it. Twist the eighth soft one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the eighth bubble in one lock twist. Measure and twist the ninth uh, dark green bubble. Lock the free end of the ninth dark green bubble between the sixth and the seventh bubbles of the light green balloon. Alright, that's how our tree looks now. We don't need the tenth uh, dark green bubble. Use scissors to cut it off. Hide the end between bubbles. Ok. Now we are going to use the third dark green balloon. Do the same thing as we did previously. Attach the nozzle between the third and the fourth bubbles of the light green balloon. Measure and twist the first bubble. Twist the second soft one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the second bubble in one lock twist. Measure and twist the third bubble. Lock the free end of the third dark green bubble between the fourth and fifth uh, bubbles of the light green balloon. Measure and twist the fourth dark green bubble. Twist the fifth soft one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. Measure and twist the sixth dark green bubble. Lock the free end of the sixth dark green bubble between the fifth and sixth bubbles of the light green balloon. Measure and twist the seventh dark green bubble. Twist the eighth soft one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the eighth bubble in one lock twist. Oops, have to lock it back. It happens sometimes. Measure and twist the ninth dark green bubble. Lock the free end of the ninth dark green bubble between the sixth and the seventh bubble of the light green balloon. Here it goes again. Well, that's how our Christmas tree looked now. These three dark green balloons. And finally we are going to use the fourth dark green balloon. Attach the nozzle of the fourth uh, balloon between the third and the fourth bubbles of the light green balloon. Measure and twist the first bubble. Twist the second soft one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the second bubble in one lock twist. Measure and twist the third bubble. Lock the free end of the third dark green bubble between the fourth and the fifth bubbles of the light green balloon. Measure and twist the fourth dark green bubble. Twist the fifth soft one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. Measure and twist the sixth dark green bubble. Lock the free end of the sixth dark green bubble between the fifth and the sixth uh, 
bubbles of the light green balloon. Measure and twist the seventh dark green bubble. Twist the eighth soft one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the eighth bubble in one lock twist. Measure and twist the ninth dark green bubble. Lock the free end of the ninth dark green bubble between the sixth and the seventh uh, bubbles of the light green balloon. The rest of the fourth dark green balloon is the tenth bubble. Cut it off. Hide the end between bubbles. Okay, now we have to fix all bubbles in proper positions. Distribute the dark green bubbles evenly on each side of the tree. Congratulations! You have made the Christmas tree. Here's a side view and here's a bottom view. That is a top view. You can dress up the Christmas tree in many different ways. I like to attach a five point star to the top of the Christmas tree. Have to hide the end of the balloon between bubbles. Okay, the Christmas tree already looks better. Now I would like to use four different color balloons to make garlands. Inflate the balloons leaving 6-7 inches flat tails. Attach the nozzle of the first balloon at the very top of the Christmas tree. Now we have to twist the chain of uh, 5 or 1 inch bubbles. Like the free end of the chain of the first five bubbles around the nearest dark green one inch bubble. Now I'm going to twist another chain of one inch bubbles. The chain should be long enough so we can reach the second row of Christmas tree branches. So in this example I made seven one inch bubbles. Lock the free end of the chain around the small uh, dark green one inch bubble. So we made chain of five and then chain of seven bubbles. And now we're making the last chain of one inch bubbles. Lock the free end of the last chain of one inch bubbles around the small one inch green bubble at the very bottom of the Christmas tree. So the garland goes in spiral way. In the same way you're going to make uh, three more garlands. I don't want to use your time showing the same thing on the okay. Just speed forward. You have to make as many bubbles to the garland as you need. And then the end, I cut off uh, uh, the ends of balloons that I used to make uh, the garland. Hide the end between bubbles. Uh, 
That's it. Now the Christmas tree looks really pretty. You can use the uh, last uh, bubble of the Christmas tree trunk to make uh, uh, some kind of handle to carry it around. You can attach the Christmas tree to basic head, three fold head with the perfect uh, awesome base to hold the Christmas tree. Have fun and Merry Christmas!